Hi. I'm going to do this journal day eight. I have established a temporary workstation in the cold caves and have found multiple burial chambers within the snow and ice. Well, in the first chamber, I exhumed a few test subjects, all female. I was stunned to find my mind wandering again to the women of Dawnstar as I examined my find. At first, I was slightly disturbed by my thoughts, but later I found myself re-evaluating. Oh, fuck. Day 9. The first trials went splendidly. Each subject was reanimated in a state of total complacency, bending to my every task and whim. I'll bend over. I have ordered a few of my new servants to guard the island, while the rest will act as my personal entourage, standing by me at all times, standing watch over me while I sleep. Hehe, <laughs> Jesse. What? <clears throat> no. I'm not here. See? Oh. I shot you in the eye, but you can still see me. Take that. Right in the ghost stomach. Oh. Oh. Coming to investigate. Oh, what a hit. Very good one, I'd say. Yum. Yum. And a uh, yum. Might as well give that to Dirk Ethos, really, but... <clears throat> can I trust him to hold on to it? Probably. Here you go. Um, give me that <laughs> and those. There you go, my beaut. Cool. Look That's at that nice new sword I just gave you. Oh, oh, flump. Go away, and don't you dare pick those up when you run over them. Because my gosh. My gosh, what? Nothing! Knife and a fork. Oh, I thought one of them was tongs! Part 3. Oh, this is a long one, is it? No. Aaron Deal's Journal, Day 21. Well, you missed a lot. An intriguing development. Tonight my guards have brought me a trespasser they found near the cave. At first I was understandably upset. Not only was I disturbed during one of my few moments alone with my favourite servant. Oh! I recognised the trespasser as a milkmaid from Dawnstar. She remembered me as well, and made bold claims that I had been lurking near her at all hours. What lies! True, I had taken notice of her on occasion, but she was nowhere near the most noticeable of maidens in town. Her continued accusations, coupled with my fear of more uninvited guests, led me to conclude that she could never return to Dawnstar. My servants were quick to carry out my sentencing. Her body is here next to me, as I write this. Funny, her eyes are still so full of life. Perhaps I will try a new experiment tonight using fresher materials. Eee, <laughs> Jesse. Well, again, I think his voice was different in the first journal. How mouldy. Oh, how people change over the course of a few days. Oh, shit. Oh, oh we're getting in real deep now. Now my voice has changed over the course of mere moments. I have a feeling <clears throat> you had a feeling about that earlier as well. But you were completely wrong, other than your bow disappearing. Are they going to attack me, or are they just waiting for me to come over for a cutscene? Not a cutscene, just a chat. Oh! Are you ready to be the easiest guy I've ever killed? Yeah, pretty much. Ah, oh, I've just remembered that one guy in Oblivion, like that guy who was killing vampires or something, I don't remember what town it was, and he was in this cave and he killed that bloke, or oh, he killed a bloke and the woman was crying so I went to kill him in a cave. And it was all like built up and everything, like he's a big tough guy. And then he just took one hit. And he was floating in the briny, which wasn't briny probably because it was just a cave. 
and briny is salty water, I do believe. Because, you know, that's why you put tuna chunks in brine, to keep it fresh with the salt factory from Super Meat Boy. Put that in the chest, why don't you? Might as well take that and have a look, just in case. Oh. Oh, okay then. I was thinking of doing that as well, but... Oh! But I guess it's a good job I didn't. Whoa! Brutal! Oh, it's all just here today. Yum. Yum. Part four. That has to be a bit longer for the last one, doesn't it? Day 28. Oh no, an Argonian has shown up. Two of them, in fact. Oh, I'm dead now. Oh, that's a good journal. No. Day 28. The new experiment has proven a success. The milkmaid, whose name still escapes me, has revived as the others, bowing to my commands. With only one interesting development. She is reformed incorporeally, more phantasm than reanimated dead. As her glowing visage stood before me, I found my hand reaching to touch, reaching out to touch her. As my fingers passed through her, I felt a sensation unlike any other, as if her essence were invigorating my very soul, connecting with me on a level no woman of flesh and blood could do. This guy's weird. This discovery is life-changing. Day 35. I have ordered my older servants to go out and find any more subjects that may have become lost. With the discovery of the inner sanctum, Daniel, deeper still within Ingvold, I should have sufficient room to store many new materials until I can transform them into willing slaves. I look back on my daydreams whilst living in Dawnstar, and wonder if they were in fact poor portents of times to come. Hehe! <laughs> James! Whatever. Well, that was a bit of a naff, wasn't it? It's a good job he's dead. I don't understand why you'd rather have ghosts, though. They can't really do much. Although, apparently, they can, because they hurt a bit, maybe. Look at the deads that you never got to play with. Why do they even still have clothes on, dude? Probably because it doesn't really matter once they're dead, once they're, once they're ghosts. <coughs> ah! Good job no one fell down there and saw all the bodies. Oh, I've had enough loot from this place, please. You don't need to give me any more. Yum, oak flesh for when you want your skin to be turned into wood. I don't know why anyone would want that. I guess if you need a woody and you just can't get it up. What? I wanna make some babies. I wanna get it on. I wanna make you horny. But I can't get it up. Yeah. American accent. Well, yeah, because it is sung by an American band or whatever. For those who don't know, that was a song by Mindless Self Indulgence. They're a pretty weird band, they are. I don't really listen to them anymore because I've grown out of that. What do you mean, grown out of that? As if only young'uns are allowed to listen to that nonsense. No. Anyway, well, we just did everything, didn't we? Um, where's that book thing? There. Let's do both of them, shall we? Yeah, that's the guy at the college. Just as I hypothesised. Oi, oh, mate! I could have cut it out until I got into the... Oi! Why were you closed? No, Dirk Ethos, you're not a mage. Oh, shit. He didn't even touch the door. Oh. Going on a group outing, Ducky just runs right into the middle of them and shoves them apart. Ah, uh, run out of breath. Oh, silly. Oh, I love him. Yeah. Hi. Conscious.
duration. I don't know why it doesn't make any sense because I don't use conjuration so I don't know I don't know where it gave me experience for it from or whatever yeah I have potions prioritize getting rid of those first oh oh dear that'll do don't want to waste time when recording we'll just cut it out then oh all this knowledge might have been lost. No. Were it not for you. Here you go. Looks like you're still in one piece. Yeah. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. How do you know there's no pages missing? Alright. I can't be asked of that anymore. Twenty four gold. Is that it? Oh Tito Shito. Might as well go out here to Skyrim. So I'm just gonna teleport anyway. I mean fast travel. Oh, I don't think I've ever been out here. Well, what a rubbish view. Anything around here? The Arcanium. Whatever. Back to... Back to the man. Return to Vekel, the man. It's always fine anyway. What the beep? I assume that was a bird in the game. That was a weird sounding bird. It went like. The sound of picking up an item. Oh! Picking up an item in dead space. Oh, yes. I like your face. You What's this things. room? Since when does this room exist? Cool. Oh. Cheese and garlic. What a combination. A very happy one. How can a combination be happy? It just makes people happy. Oi. Man. I've got the journals. I can. You have them already? Yeah, I'm pretty quick. Here, take this. What? This should cover your end of the work nicely. What? My Flumpo? A sanctified steel axe. What a load of junko. Oh, Ready for some work or are you just gonna wander around all day? Shut up. I hear the simple jobs are becoming difficult. Right. <clears throat> So next time, what? Well, not next time, we're only at the end of part two, and we're not even at the end yet. I don't even need to sell stuff. Let's bugger off over to Markarth. Over to Paul McCarthy, as in Markarthney. Yeah, we have to go in there. I don't know how to get up there exactly. Oh, probably that. Yeah. But I'll show you how I got there yesterday. Not yesterday, well, yeah, yesterday to when I'm recording this. I did a bit of a whoop and a bit of a whoop and a bit of a whoop a dee dub. They call me Rooftop Climber. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's an old one, isn't it? Temple of Debella. Right in the belly. What a holy place. Hi. They can't be disturbed. Well, I'm sorry, but... We'll have to come back another time. Nope. I'm sorry. The Temple of Debella is closed. Excuse me. You can receive your blessing if oh. you wish, but the other sisters are in seclusion. Weird. I don't remember saving it after talking to her about all that. Maybe I did, though. Ah. What's that going to give me? Out of curiousness. Not that. Oh, Debella. Persuasion. Oh, I don't need it. Alright, so in the next part, we'll have a look. It's another inner sanctum. Fuck. We had an inner sanctum in the Twilight Sepulchre. There was talk of an inner sanctum in Ingvild. And now we're going in the inner sanctum of Temple of Debella. Gosh. 
Daniel. Yeah, whatever. See you in the next part. Oh. Snake. Sneaking along. Singing a song. No, I'm not actually. <laughs>